When we say close, we have to define is it healthy or not to have a close friendship. Now, are you talking about close as in we're still having sex? Then no, absolutely not. That's not a healthy relationship. If somebody's an ex, right, that means that at one point y'all had deep feelings for each other. Y'all was True. in love. True. Like y'all was like planning on marriage and different things like that. You feel what I'm saying? So however that relationship ended, you know, it's, it's neither here nor there. Those feelings don't just go away. Healthy? I don't know. That's that's. Uh, it depends. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, cause people are like, you know what I'm saying? They lie and they petty. So it's like I don't like. People may say it's okay to. Oh, you can be friends with your with your ex, but then they always gonna bring them up. They always gonna say something. They always gotta. You know what I'm saying? I get to arguing. Nah, you're probably with your ex. You know what I'm saying? I always gonna be thinking about your ex. I don't know if he's. You know what I'm saying? Per se healthy. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm still good friends with my ex, so you know what I'm saying? It's all good, you know what I'm saying? We still, we close, so I mean, it's not a problem, but I don't know if it's healthy. Uh, mm. Yes, you can be friends with your ex. Close friends? Close friends, yes. Why are you in a relationship? Yes, it just has to be dialogue exchanged, and then once you guys get a clear vision of it, and once somebody is a little more mature. So can, he, can your man be close friends with his ex? Yes. It's not healthy. Right, me personally, uh, just because, you know what I'm saying, I, I got some exes who actually watch, you know what I'm saying, if I say something different, they just gonna blast me on social media. <laughs> so. I do not think it's healthy. And the reason I don't is because I feel like a part of you is still holding on to your past. I dated a guy and he was, we were together all the time at my parents, everything. And I noticed that his ex would be posting, like, going to go see him at work, and he'd be like, oh, no, that's old. Oh, no, that's old. And I'm like, that's not old. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not stupid. And so later on, I actually did end up finding out that they were still together. And I'm just like, if you still have a relationship with your ex, that's fine, but keep me out of it. I definitely think um, you can be friends, but it's very hard, and you got to set that. You gotta set the standard up right then and there, especially when relationship. Let your partner know who that person is. Um, kind of, you know, why y'all kind of fell out. You know, what the situation was, how long you've been knowing them, whoop to whoop stuff like that. So, um, it's definitely possible. Um, I definitely wouldn't just say just go out and do it because that's something that you have to. Your your partner has to be comfortable with that too. So you also have to respect your partner's boundaries and and how they feel. So you want to make them as comfortable as possible in that situation. So if that if your partner is not comfortable with that and you really want to be with your partner, you just got to tell your friend, hey, you just got to respect this. Like it is what it is. I still got love for you, but this is who I'm focused on. This is who I'm trying to grow with. Things like that. So you're gonna have to cut that off. When it comes down to friendship and close friendship to be exact mm -hmm. um even if she got a new man she still love her ex she still got love for her ex like that that's just that's just reality because they done been through shit you know and especially depending on how long they have been together say somebody been together 10 years or something right mm -hmm. and it and it went bad and then she get a new man they dating for four five months you think those feelings for you know those 10 years worth of feelings just gonna go away no no no, no. they're not I don't mind men being friends with females. What's your definition of close friends? I cannot, huh? What's your definition of close friends? Consistent communication. So like, just just out the window. Say you sleep, you took a nap. You wake up at 11 p.m. at night and you hear your man giggling and ha ha on the phone with his Well, ex. then that's when respect comes into play. Wait, 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 no, 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 that no, That is no, when no, respect no, comes no, into no, play. No, no, no. no, they friends. She had something to get off her chest, so he answered. You and if it's like, that case, then cool. You cool with it? Yeah. So if it happens like twice out the month? Out the month. 31 days. Two days out the week, he ha ha and at 11 p.m. You said night. two times out the month. Now you're saying week. Two Make times out the month, he didn't ha ha at 11 p.m. at night while you sleep and you woke up. What do you want me to do? Wake up and like call? You, you just cool with that? I cannot control what a man does. If he gonna cheat, he gonna cheat. It's just my choice to either stay or leave. That's why it's a very tricky question because yeah. if you have that type of, like like Misha said, if you have that friendship first, then maybe something like that could happen. But again, the woman and the man got have that are together. together have to be comfortable with that situation. Yeah, that's true. You can't, 
be malicious and not tell the whole truth about your ex or about the person in your past. You have to be upfront and honest. And if it really is comfortable and it really is mutual, then why doesn't the person meet the ex? Yeah, that's true. Like if if if, if everybody is cool with each other, you know what I'm saying, all three of y'all, four of y'all, I don't know how y'all want to rock, you know what I'm saying, then it'd be healthy because all y'all know each other, y'all can hang, y'all be cool with each other. But if like... That if, if your significant other don't like the ex, then that's that's definitely not. I will say that's not healthy until a couple years, until like maybe now, since I'm like 17, my mentality has definitely changed because I have a friend that was with her baby daddy for a long time. They had a kid together, mm-hmm. and she is able to be around whoever he's with, mm-hmm. and he's able to be around whoever she's with, and they all they will have a whole house party and be together, and not like you know make anything awkward. It's like everything mutual they're having fun they're having a great time it's not any drama and so when people can be mature and do that then i mean it's great but some people don't have that maturity there yet any solid relationship that you had should have been built on the grounds of friendship first and if it was built on the grounds of friendship first like i was friends with this person for years before we actually jumped into a relationship um it's it, it makes it so that when the relationship is over with the friendship still has a foundation to stand upon And I've had a lot of relationships like that where I was friends with them first and then they pursued me afterwards or I didn't see them that way and it ended up being a relationship. And then both of us were like, you know what? That ain't the move. We shouldn't be in a relationship. And so a lot of my exes I'm still friends with and there are boundaries. But I will say this, let me get into a relationship with someone who I really care about and respect and they are intimidated by that. I have no problem shutting that relationship down because I choose them who I'm with over you know, my future, I choose my future over the person who was my past, you know, catch your next lifetime. It's not that big of a deal. I'm cool with a couple of my exes. I'm not, I'm not going to lie with that. It's not on no, uh, you know what I'm saying, text you every day type of shit, like how you doing, like, you know what I'm saying. It, it's, it's real cordial. Now, if me personally, if I'm, if I'm in a relationship with a female, if I'm really dealing with a female and she got a problem with that, like, you know what I'm saying, that's dead. So you're cool with it. I'm cool with being respected. You know, you, you're avoiding the question. Thing is, can that, men and women be friends? Yes, they can be friends, but not men and women who are attracted to each other cannot be friends while they're in a relationship with somebody else. Baby daddies and baby mamas do it all the time. They have they have another person to take care of in that whole relationship. That's what's keeping People them. People have going. dogs. <laughs> I had a dog with somebody else, and I still got the dog. We don't communicate, so. <laughs> I know how to get rid of that. Someone take the dog. That's true. A lot of people don't have that maturity. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. A lot of people, they want to be messy. They want to talk about your ex. You know what I'm saying? Her, her, her lace front and all that type of shit that she got wrong and the way she wore her clothes and how did you ever date her but type shit. But that's also a woman that still has underlying insecurities. Which one? The, the, the ones you're talking to? Yeah, like if you're talking to somebody and then you bring up like, oh yeah, I'm still cool with my ex and the woman says she's okay with it, but then she still brings up that person, that's a woman yeah. that still has underlying insecurities that's not fully secure like 95% within themselves and is okay with it. There's 95% of women. It is, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I was not expecting you to agree with me, but hey, it could be healthy, you know what I'm saying, if you do it right. I think if you do it right, it could be healthy, but... If it's done right, if it's not done right, then it's yeah. just, it's going to fall apart. Shout out to my ex. <laughs> men don't communicate very well when they feel intimidated by another man, so they just normally bottle it up, or they say, you probably still fucking that nigga. I bet you fucking that nigga. I bet you suck his dick. And then you, he starts running through his mind, all the shit that he, First thing nasty we think about, shit you, you probably did. You probably sucked his dick in there. Oh, I bet you fucking there. Huh, why did you go get, why did you go fuck that nigga? Huh, you bet you still fucking him, huh? How's dick taste like? Just crazy shit. Turn like, you, you just played this entire scenario in your head that never fucking happened. And it turned into a telenovela in your brain. And it's not that. With close friendship, that means that y'all speaking frequently. That means that y'all still hanging out. You know, y'all still voicing uh, uh, grievances and, you know, different relationship issues that y'all have into each other. You know what I'm saying? So what that means is y'all are still connected. Y'all are still deeply connected. And at any given time, that old flame could reunite. Y'all can't go walk the dogs together in no, the park? No, that, nah, that's... That's, we're not being close friends. That's, that's a healthy relationship. That's not healthy. Friendship. Why am I walking the park with you? Why? With your ex? Yes. That why? would be. Why? You loved her at one point in time. You still at do. One, at one point in time. I had love for her. 
I still got love for it, but that don't mean I got to go take her out on walks and stuff. That's not. So that's just your. That's person, not healthy because we. That's your we personal broke up. thing then. I just think, as if you're in a relationship, and my if I'm in a relationship and my ex came up to me while I'm in a relationship and said, "Hey, let's go take our dog for a walk in a park." <laughs> First of all, that's no respect right there, which you said you needed. Second of all, why is she hitting me up asking for a walk in a park? That's, she doesn't respect my relationship, so she doesn't respect me either. How does she know you're in a relationship if you don't tell her from communication? Because I'm not talking to her. I'm not close friends with my ex. It's, why do I need to tell her I'm in a relationship? So she get mad, jealous, happy for me? Do I need her validation? What if your current guy said him and his ex are best friends? Could you deal with that? No. No. <laughs> no. What's wrong with that? Because that's, okay, if there's a boundary set, then maybe, but I'm uncomfortable with me being with my significant other and knowing his ex is at his house. What is, she, what is she there for? Why is she just sitting on the couch chilling? Why is she taking pictures in your mirror? Like, she lives there. I mean, they best friends, you know, but she probably, it's traffic, she needed somewhere to chill while she took traffic got down and she get home, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what can happen. Like, you know, they, she probably left some over there. I don't know. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes, you can still be, have a friendship with your ex. I do believe you can, especially if it's on some good, solid friendship ground. But boundaries have to be set because you know what? Especially if that old friend had good dick or she had good pussy, you better believe they can still fuck. There's probably, I'm not gonna say that. So I'm gonna say that they can probably, there, there is still a possibility for the door to be open to sex. So you should never, um, especially if you get in a relationship, you should cut that short. You should yeah, definitely that. set those boundaries. Set those boundaries and set end them. that. You know, I, we don't mean, I'm a, I'm a true Gemini. If I, I could be your home girl, but if you fuck me in a relationship, you know, like, did some fucking shit with my money, or you know, fucking cheated on me, or did some fucking shit with my money, you know. Um, I'm not gonna fuck you ever again in life. You know, I'll still talk to you, I'll still keep it genuine, but I will never, ever fuck you again in life. It's so much that goes on in their mind, just to, just with the fact of seeing another woman. Yeah. You introduce her, hey, this is my coworker, you know what I'm saying? This the one that helped me do whoop the whoop and then all of a sudden your girl thinking right off back, like, oh, how many times they didn't fuck? You know what I'm saying? Do she like this nigga? Do she want my nigga? Even if you were friends beforehand, okay, say y'all were friends for twelve years before this, y'all hooked up, y'all had sex, y'all relationship, y'all fell off because of y'all just in jail. You get another relationship with somebody else. And that person's like, hey, I don't like you talking to them because y'all had a physical attraction to each other. And I don't feel comfortable. Not being insecure, he just doesn't feel comfortable with y'all being alone or talking about something because y'all can still connect again, reconnect. I don't, I don't, I think that's happens all the time. I think people do that. Oh, he's just, that's just his ex. Oh, whatever. They're just cool, whatever. They're just talking about whatever that you could be talking to your woman about. Mm -hmm. or your man about your feelings or whatever's going on with you in your life, you should be talk, telling that to your man or your woman. If I had an ex and I was with somebody, I would never like be with my significant other and my ex just chilling at my house. Would you be friends to ex? I would be cordial with him, but we wouldn't be on like an everyday yeah, speaking like, hey, what's up, how are you doing, blah, blah, like none of that, especially if I'm with somebody. Because if I'm trying to pursue somebody, why am I still holding on to my past person? Mm. See, I feel you on that. You're still I, clinging on to your past because if that's your ex, that should be your ex for a reason. So you should not be keeping in communication with your ex while you're still trying to pursue somebody else because you're if, still holding. Because let's just say this. If you and a significant other break up, nine times out of ten, if their ex was involved during that relationship, the person's going to go back to their ex until they find somebody else. But what about the situation where you and your ex got a ton of mutual friends, so y'all gonna see each other regardless. So you gotta be a grown up and speak. So it could be a situation. Yeah, no, where like, you definitely have to be a grown up. Yeah. You definitely have to speak with them. You definitely have to be cordial with them. But again, if you are trying to pursue a relationship with somebody else, your ex, that the boundaries have to be set, and a conversation has to be had when it comes to that. Men can't be friends with the ex because 
Because Me men don't set enough fucking boundaries. You know what I, I'm saying? I do. And, and it's nine times out of ten, if they're still cordial with their ex, they still want to fuck it. Or it, it they like that. They want to keep the door open just in case shit don't work out with nope. the current girl. You know, that's nine times out of ten. Networking. Women. Yeah, networking my motherfucker ass. You networking that bitch and I'm going to cut you long, short, deep, and wide, motherfucker. Like, don't do it. Network if you want to. Come up on this ass whooping. One of my exes is an event planner. Yeah, okay. I reach out to you, her you advice. Better, you, say, me and You better find another bitch that's playing your event. Uh, she does big Period. events. She didn't help Khloe Kardashian. Like she yeah, I don't give a people. fuck if she played the Obama's wedding. She better not be playing in your shit. No, hey, I'm just saying if I reach out to her. No, I didn't say playing it. If I reach out to her for advice. Well, you know what? That's not okay? It, no. Wow. No. That's Never. crazy. I bet. Get fucked up. And that'll be crazier. I know how other niggas think. You know what I'm saying? And... Not only do you know, I don't mean to cut y'all, but not only do you know, right, is that I done been that friend before, right? That's what that's what this shit boils down to. I done been that. You feel what I'm saying? I done been that ex. I done been that friend to where, you know, me and a girl talking, it don't work out for whatever reason. But women don't want to add to their body count, right? So what that means is that her ex is still beating when she's talking to the new guy, when they in the dating stage, when they in the courting stage. He's still beating this whole time. How I know, because I've been that ex, and I've been still beaten. You know what I'm saying? So what that means yeah. is, is that after the relationship is established, and he done been beaten all throughout the dating stage, and now all of a sudden they, quote unquote, close friends, and they get to talk frequently, this, that, and the third, all it's going to take is one slip from you, and she's going to fall right back into old habits. So I just think you feel how you feel, and I feel how I feel. <laughs> and it's not going to, we, we can't just keep arguing. We're just going to keep going in circles. I personally do feel like you can't be friends with your ex. I feel like it's inevitable if y'all gonna get back together or not. So just like everybody else, you have certain ties, you got mutual friends, you got all of this stuff. I do personally feel like you can still be cool with your ex. I think you're enabling no, that to happen again. <laughs> I think you're enabling y'all to get back together again because y'all having a no, conversation it's not. about it. No, it's not. People grow apart. A conversation has to be had, period. There is no dancing around it. There is no, like, oh, well, there's nothing you need to worry about. No, 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 no. We need to talk about it. And I need to know what part does she play in your life or what part does he play in your life? And y'all need to set, like, okay, well, you know, definitely should not be at your house, for sure. So the ex can just never step foot in the house ever? Not if you're with somebody else. No, that's not, that's not like, okay. Like we having a house party, you know what I'm saying? Like we I mean, okay, like if it's oh, like, oh, like, like I said, like I mentioned my other friends, if it but is I'm saying, like can, that, can they have that and, and if they can there. all be, you know, whatever, then yes, but not like my ex has a key to my house to go to my house and take care of stuff. Like while have, I'm out with my other person. They might have got a dog together, you know, be working all day. Somebody, somebody got to walk the dog. You know, See, you're the saying? one that comes up with a lot of excuses. What? It's not an excuse, I'm just saying. These scenarios you're, are you're real. You're the one that comes up with a lot of excuses. These scenarios you, you are You come up with a lot of different scenarios yeah, to try and make life. it seem relevant. And yeah. It's not relevant. We just cool, you know what I'm saying? We no. we, we tried something out and we no. failed, and no. now we still cool. You know what I'm saying? We we, we that didn't work, you know what I'm saying? I turned out to be a better friend to her than a boyfriend, right? And so now we still cool, you know what I'm saying? So and are you currently that. still cool with some of your exes? I only got one ex, and yeah, we still cool. And yeah. are you currently trying to pursue somebody else? Uh, I'm not necessarily, but I'm open to <laughs> people trying to pursue me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, so it's all good. I had to hit him with saying? that question, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah, I, I will definitely. But okay, so will, you're not there yet, though. You're not trying to pursue somebody else. So you still have an ex, but you haven't tried to pursue anybody else. So once you try and pursue somebody else, I would love to have another. I would, I would love to have another. Point. I would love to have another girlfriend. But when I do get whatever, however that works. So you're gonna tell her you have to be cool with me, still being cool with my ex. Yeah, just like that. It's just like that. <laughs> yeah, it's verbatim. Pierre Point Blake, try me if you want to. But you can have. But you just said. But you I, friends with your ex. And I said, if you be mature and you say, hey, I don't like that. It's dead. You know what I'm saying? But bitches have ulterior motives. It's a bitch right now texting a married man somewhere in America, talking about when you get done, holla at me. You know, fuck that hoe. But you know, other women, you know, we know how to say no, especially if she's loyal, especially if she's a Gemini. You said black women don't cheat. Do y'all talk about that? I never said that, but there are some hoes out here. I ain't gonna never say black women don't cheat, okay? It's some hoes who they was not raised by their father and it shows. I mean, I know a lot of respectable men, so, you know, we... I don't... It's over there. It's, it's over a, there. It's a handful of them, okay? It's over there. And they're all in marriages.
my hesitancy about this stems from my experience mm -hmm. being in that other role. Yeah. Because when I was in that other role, I took pride in being able to hit this nigga gas. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up. But it's the truth. I took pride in that. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how happy they was looking on their pictures, on social media, this, that, and the third, I could text her whenever I wanted to, and I could be. So when I'm dating a woman, and she has a quote-unquote male friend, that's exactly what's going through my head. That's why I can't have it. I'm sorry. Happen. Yeah. This can't happen. So my thing is, okay, you have a man, and you have your ex. Mm -hmm. What are you going to tell your ex that you're telling your man? What? Like, you have your man, you have your ex. Why are you talking to your ex? Why? Because we'll we're be friends. <laughs> we're Never friends. mind, ain't, we ain't going to go nowhere with this. <laughs> what are you talking about with your ex? General life, how are you doing? Why are you worried about how you're doing? Like, what? It's not worried about it. It's somebody voluntarily telling you, like, oh, everything is good. My mom is good. Everybody's good. The dog is fine. Business is booming. So if they said, no, uh, no, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm, I'm lonely. I'm sad. In that case, if I you do you to not want to be with that person anymore, you just nip this shit in the bud and be like, okay, well, you know, I hope you get through that. I'm going to pray for you. I do a lot of entertainment and then my ex does entertainment. She lives in a whole another city that I'm not going to mention and she has a lot of connections and we like kind of bounce each other, bounce off each other. And then she also has connections that she, my ex might have back access to. So, so like, then would like, you allow your ex to meet the new girlfriend? For sure. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's gotta be well. If if my see if my if my new thing because if my new thing got an attitude and she not receptive, then it's like I I don't know if I want to let you do it because it's gonna always be a problem. Okay, so then that's when the conversation has to be had with the person that you're with and your ex because you can't try and keep the conversation. Is you can't be, try and just keep her on the side and then still pursue somebody nah, else when that not, person's not comfortable. It's perspective. I'm not keeping her on the side. I'm just keeping y'all away well, from I'm, each other because you're right. Not, you're no, not, I understand just, being away from each yeah. other, but the conversation still has to be had with your significant other because if not, she. He's gonna feel a certain type of way. Hey, I'm still cool with my ex, and you gotta deal with it, but you come first. That's all the conversation gonna be. Okay, so what point do you get out of your whole phase and say, I can be friends with my ex? At what age is that? Because uh, it definitely ain't before. I'm about 24. That's a motherfucking lie. I, I, I'm talking, I'm speaking for me. No. I was about 24. Your whole phase doesn't start to dwindle down until like 27 ish, 8, 28. Yes, 29. I, I started early, so I ended and early. It doesn't, you know? it doesn't matter. You know what? You know, I went to the pros at okay. like 16. Okay, so and I if retired. you were a little bit of a lame in high school, that means your whole phase is starting later, and it might not taper off to 32, 33. Real talk. I'm out the game, baby. It ain't, it ain't. He over here lying on camera for somebody who's watching. I'm out the game, baby. It ain't worth it out here. First thing that's going to go through my mind is. If she sucked that nigga dick, and look, look, <laughs> I can't have that, man, now. Nah. <laughs> look, you know what I'm saying? More times than not, she did. <laughs> <laughs> look, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the type of person, man, look, you know what I'm saying? Once, once I hit an ending point, like, you know what I'm saying, that's it. You being friends with your ex is the same as you being friends with a nigga that wants to fuck you or a nigga that wants to talk to you. Exactly. That's why we don't allow it. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's why we don't allow it. Why? <laughs> Bingo. Wow. Wow. Bingo. Okay. I like I like where you sit. I like the way I like the way you do business. You can still be friends with your ex. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get another relationship, it's cool. We grown. You know what I'm saying? You can do it. You can be grown. I mean, at the same time, it's just a tricky question. You can still be friends with your ex, but it just depends on the situation, and it depends how mature the maturity level yeah, of facts. all parties. Yeah, and if everybody can get along, it actually is healthier, it is healthier for your relationship if everybody can get along. It is. It's very healthy. Because I witnessed it firsthand, so it is. So you know. But if it's lies and, you know, Black men don't lie and, and black women. men don't cheat. Okay, and we're gonna end it on let's that level. not go there. <laughs> it ain't worth it. It just ain't. Women want too much. They demand too much and don't give. Too little. give That's enough. bullshit. That's the problem. That's, That's bullshit. The problem. They're, they won't do the 80 20. They want you to be the 80 and nah, they be the 20. Shit. I've been the 90 10. The fuck? So. I want my other percent. The fuck? I want it. Where's it at? I see what you're doing for other people, Jesus. 
Sierra, you know, other ones. I'm waiting on my prayer. I've been good this year. I'm just saying, bottom line, you can not, if you're a man, be friends with your ex. And for a woman, you can, but make sure you shut it down before your um, spouse, if your spouse is uncomfortable. Establish it early, early, early in the relationship. What you going to do? You going to have friends or you're not going to have friends? Are you going to allow her I'm to have I'm your only it, friend. Or you're not going to have it? If that's you what it's going to no be, friends. if that's what it's going to be, then make sure y'all talk that out. Because if one person is off, then it's always going to be friction and it's always going to be crazy. Stop being a hoe on Instagram. I tell your girl, stop me being in my DM. If she has loved him before, he always has access to the vagina. That's just a reality. It's That's just facts. fucked up. We don't want to admit it. They gonna lie about it. You know what I'm saying? But the fact of the matter is, if she loved him at one point, he'll always have access to the vagina. And that's just it. Open availability. That's where we gonna leave it. <laughs> this is real rap.